Welcome back, everybody. My name is Justin, Kilo Oscar for Charlie Echo Quebec. And in the last couple of videos on this series, we've covered uh, FL Digi configuration and the graphical user interface. Today, I'm going to go over how to select a mode and send a transmission and uh, conduct basically a, just a basic CQ to get your feet wet. First, you can find the modes available under op mode at the top left corner of the window. And typically there are several bandwidths per mode. Um, trading uh, path reliability for data speed as you go up in the signal bandwidth. Uh, experiment and pick whichever one works best for you. But for today, I'm going to be using Contestia. Um, once you've identified a signal to decode or, you know, you, or you've decided a frequency to call CQ on, type your message in in the blue transmit pane. Now, I did notice earlier that there is a uh, there was somebody transmitting at around the 1000 mark. So we're going to go ahead and wait for them to uh, transmit again and see if uh, we can go ahead and decode that and get in on that uh, and possibly make a uh, make a cue. So. But while that's uh, while we're waiting on that, um, I'll just go. Once you've identified a signal to decode, you're just going to left click on the uh, signal itself, and that should get you approximately close to where you're at. So if I were to, uh, I, I saw them right around at a thousand earlier. So I'm going to click right there, and you can see down at the very bottom of the screen that we're not really zoned in exactly on the 1,000 hertz offset. So I'm just going to use the button to click in uh, a, a little more. Um, we're going to zero in on that 1,000. Um, we'll see here if, uh, if it says it again. Looks like he is. So here, as we're, you can see, the decoded signal is coming up in the receive pane. And we talked about the receive ID earlier. So this individual has the transmit ID enabled. And if I were to be in a different mode, um, I would have already swapped over to uh, uh, Contestia 4250, in case you can see that mode is identified here. So I'm going to go ahead and respond to him. And simply, I can answer his um, answer his call for CQ by clicking on the on the call sign. That call sign will populate any pertinent info in that log there and I can go ahead and hit answer and it will plug in into the transmit pane the appropriate call sign with the macro. Now like I said before clicking on parts of that received transmit and if he were to uh, transmit his name or something like that, it would it would pop up in the in the appropriate fields up at the top. Uh, it's not always accurate, but it can be really helpful. And this data in the log info will be plugged into the macros as appropriate, like I said before. Um, remember that we're gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, shoot him something else free you know, freehand. Now, when you type something in the transmit pane, it's always good to hit the carriage return a few times to start on a, uh, a fresh line. You can kind of, uh, as you can see up here, when you don't hit the carriage return, that data can be sent basically at the end of the last um, transmission that came in that you decoded, and that works on his side as well. So you wanna hit the carriage return so you start off on a new line. So KC3 ERC D4 CEQ, how are you? today. And I'll go ahead and hit the transmit the TX button over here on the uh, right. This one right here with the hard stop that will typically plug in this caret R will identify the uh, identify to the system that it's time to receive back to the receiving uh, receiving mode. I'll see if he responds. Now, it's a good thing to remember that as, as your system transmits, it transmits to wherever the cursor has ended unless something has identified it to such as that, that caret R macro within the program to identify to send it back over to the receive mode. So it is possible to start typing something and then if you have not switched it back to receive by the time that cursor has caught up and transmit, 
the transmit mode can get hung up and you'll just start sending blank characters. All right. When that happens and, and, and blank characters are being sent, you're basically tying up that frequency. What you should do here is uh, either hit the TR button here, down in the bottom right, the gray button. You can hit the TR macro here, or you can hit the RX, that pause button. All right, so he's cooling off from working in the garden. Hope you had a great day, and thank you for helping me with this video this evening. I apologize for the slow typing. So we're going to go ahead and hit the transmit, and you can see it plugs in the DEKO4CEQ, and then the uh, and then the uh, uh, macro to return to listening. Now, like I said before, the transmit only goes up into the cursor. So if you have that cursor and it is before the end of your message, now if you see up here is the transmit. The transmit's in red, and it's now hung up. If I'm, as I move that cursor over to the right, it will then continue transmitting each one of those characters. So it's important to make sure you have that cursor all the way at the end of the message once you've completed typing the message. That's all I've really got for you today. In the next video, I think we're probably going to go start going into the companion apps like FL Amp and FL Message. And uh, although those are uh, uh, fairly simple programs. I'm going to go ahead and send, uh, teach you guys how to both uh, set up your own macros and install macro files uh, for FL Digi to retrieve and populate those macro buttons with. Also, we'll talk about uh, sending messages with FL Message. Once again, guys, thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this, and I hope you have a great day. And oh, he's uh, he's got a. Uh, one other message. You're welcome. Still trying to learn FL Digi. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You know, drop something in the comments, and I will do my best to answer as those uh, come up. Have a great day. Once again, my name is Justin Kilo Oscar for Charlie Echo Quebec, and have a great day. I know I've said that a bunch of times. I got to stop saying that. I got to work on making better videos. Take care.